Watchful centuries gazed upon the foundations of a decrepit people who'd fallen hopeless, who'd forgotten their ways and had to remember their past so that they didn't make the same mistake. A past of sadistic hedonism and hate, where the wretched and cruel made themselves the pure by obfuscating their darkness with a false light, tricking the good-hearted into a vicious lie. The sacrosanct they defiled and corrupted, burnt the holy tabernacle till it was ash, forgetting the good word, leaving it to ruin. But in some hearts, the word of the Lord still remained. His followers were cruelly lashed by base tyrants. Their faith was tested by those that forgot the truth. Their hearts softened by the beauty of the Lamb's grace, and their suffering made light by speaking his name. Single grains of sand, combined in a vast desert, united with wind, had withered down a mountain. Their voices harmonized, echoing through the void, until the face of evil fled and was destroyed. Then, evil, in rage, sought to deceive them once more. He sought to throw his weakened legions at their gates to defile the wall of the righteous and holy, forcing the kingdom of the Lord to bend its knee. But the watchers awoke and uttered the Lord's name, causing darkness to reel in icy agony, realigning the sacred and God's holy light, bringing the deceivers justice by the Lord's blade. A people, dying, were brought back to life through grace, the centuries of the Lord returned them to the light. Their hearts had recognized the message of the Lord, and evil's will was sundered by the wrath of God.